Hey guys, how's it going? So I have a like random stuff haul for you because I bought a lot of like random single items recently. And do you guys like haul videos? So gonna haul it up. Um, okay, so first thing we're gonna start with is, I don't know how I got this. I have an entire thing of Tarte Guard, 30 SPF. I don't remember ordering this. I like Tarte Guard, it's okay. I have a bunch of little samples of it. I think they're fine. I'm not sure how I got a full bottle of it because I don't think I actually purchased it. I don't. Nobody sent me anything, so mystery tart guard. Okay, cool. Um, I got the Cover Effects um, Custom Enhancing Drops in Halo. That was like a VIP Rouge exclusive day where you could like order a bunch of stuff like a week before everyone else could. So I got it comes in a giant container like this. It's like half an ounce, 15 mils. I'm gonna swatch today as much as I can. This stuff is like rainbow tears, unicorn rainbow tears. For reals, like hot diggity damn. Um, I'm not a liquid highlighter person, generally, but this stuff, pretty awesome. I'm just going to add that to my highlighter. Um, so I'm pretty pumped on that. Looks awesome. Um, I got the Hangover RX um, from Too Faced. Too Faced is a weird brand for me. Like, everybody else really likes them. I mostly am like, meh. Like, I don't think their eyeshadows are the best. And, like, of even the mid-range brands are not, like, my favorite one. But, um, everybody swears by this, so I'm gonna give it a go. It comes in packaging that looks like this. Which I think means there's a pump. Oh my god, I love a pump. Yes. That's awesome. I got the First Light Priming Filter from Becca. It's this purple stuff. Um, again, there's a lot of hype about this, so I'm gonna give it a try. Um, I don't know about primers. Like, I typically like primers that are full of silicone, <laughs> fill your pores. So I don't know what this one is gonna do, but um, it is actually, I don't, you guys can't see that, can you? It's, it's like, it is actually purple until you blend it in and then it goes away. So it is clear once it's gone. Um, but I don't know, I'll give it a try. I like trying new primers, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I did get a big bottle of P50 because I used up my P50 and then they had this other stuff the, um, that was P50 PIGM, which I think means pigment 400. It looks like this. So I got a bottle of this, it's like their new product um, from Biologique Recherie, well, I can't even say that. Recherish, I nope. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Yes, this word. I'm sure Sarah can say it. Um, anyway, I decided to give that a roll. Um, I did get the California blush from Benefit Cosmetics. Looks like this super cute. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but it looked beautiful. And Benefit blushes are lovely, so I think the gold is just like a quick overspray. So I think that'll probably go away. Um, but I guess we'll see. Um, I did get the powder, illuminating powder from Chanel that recently just came out in... This doesn't really say. Maybe it says on the bottom of this thing. Um, 0701. Let's say Lumiere. Looks like that. Oh, I have a flashing light, so I may disappear. It comes with a very nice brush. Like, this guy is actually really big and it's really soft. Like, it feels really nice. So, um, it looks like that. We'll see how it goes. Looks kind of gold for my skin tone, but we're going to give it a try. Let me swatch this for you. 
It's this golden stripe right here. It's pretty. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Heat Wave, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm definitely going to keep that little brush because that seems awesome and get rid of the pouch sadly because I love these pouches. I love that they come with them, but honestly, they make it so I never use the product. NARS. Um, it's a Blanc de Sable highlighting palette. Um, packaging on the inside looks like this. Lovely. I love NARS packaging. I love NARS. I love NARS products. I love all their stuff. Mm, highlighters that look like this. Uh, let me get you swatches. Okay. Oh. Yes. Okay. Um, I have a swatch on my hand, so I'm gonna have to differentiate. Oh my god. These are beautiful. So, um, it's these three. So this is the lightest one, obviously. This is the middle one, and that's the one on the end. Let me show you these again so you can know what I'm talking about. They went one, two, three, up my hand. Like, how do I get light on that middle one? Oh my god, the middle one's so pretty. It's like perfect for me. Anyway, because I need more highlighters. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, what else did I get? I got a sheer highlighting du duo from Tom Ford. I've had this around for a while, actually. This is Reflex Guilt. Oh my gosh, Tom Ford. It also comes in a little white pouch. Even worse, because I'll never touch it if it's white, because it'll collect dust and it'll make me sad. So that just went in the trash. Um, I wish they really wouldn't send me these. So this is what they those guys look like. Um, these are both, like, blushes for me. Or eyeshadows <laughs> if I go by that gold one so this is what like a very heavy swatch of these two looks like um definitely not a highlighting palette for me like there's no way that's a highlighter I am way too fair for that I'm gonna wipe my hand down um yeah I'm way too fair for that but those are beautiful and I absolutely could use them as blush toppers or like incorporate them into looks in other ways in eyeshadow format or whatever so um those are lovely decided to give them a try um what else we got here we got dior show blush and bloom all right this is an asia exclusive guys i went through my friend um toshia on fude japan uh instagram oh look at this cute little brush it's pink i hadn't noticed that let me open this and see if it's actually super soft dior brushes are actually usually really good yeah, it's alright. The Chanel one's way better. Um, but it comes in a pouch, which is getting tossed. Um, actually, it might not. Look at this, you guys. Let me get this out. It's a blush and highlighter duo. Oh my god. And that's not like an overspray that goes all the way down. Oh, so pretty. So excited for this one. Um, I guess I might leave this in the pouch because I need to... If I'm going to keep this brush to go with it. I don't know if I'll keep the brush though. We'll see. I'll use it once and see how it goes. If the brush sucks, I get rid of it. I have a hardcore policy. Okay, um, that came from Toshia. I'll leave link to Toshia's Instagram down below, by the way. I'm flashing. But I'm going to end the video soon. Um, but Toshia is on Instagram under Fude, F-U-D-E, which means brushes, Japan, and he can get like Asia exclusive products and mail them to you for a small commission. He does it for a bunch of beauty bloggers already. He's very trusted in the community, so I recommend him and his services. It's really awesome. If you see some stuff that you just can't get your hands on here, he can get it for you. So, told you it would cut out. Anyway, Toshia can get you stuff from Japan. I will link his Instagram down below. Definitely check him out if you have anything that you want to get that's Asia exclusive because he can go grab it for you or he might already have it in stock and be able to hook you up. Um, he also sent me the Bloom Perfect Perfect Moist Cushion um, in the shade 020, which is actually probably my shade. Um, looks like a cushion foundation sample, um, but their samples are like, it's actually super generous. Like, it's 
pretty large. Oh, yeah. And it has like a little thing. Um, although I'll probably use a beauty blender, but it is, it's actually a cushion foundation sample. That's crazy. Um, I will definitely give that a whirl. Um, what else we got? We got two more things. Okay, so Bite Beauty, I got two of their cream lip glosses. Um, what shades are these? Rose Pearl and Pink Pearl. So this is Pink Pearl. Um, typically not a lip gloss girl, but I saw these and I was like, okay. Um, okay. These are very, like, they're not sticky, but they're definitely, like, thick. Um, and they're, like, prismatically glittery. So that's pink pearl. Um, and they're super pigmented, especially for lip glosses. Like, this is a lip gloss I can get behind. Normally I don't like lip gloss because I don't like things that aren't pigmented, but let me show you this guy. This is amazing. Look at all the different colors in that. Like, holy cow. It's amazing. And that's what it looks like on, like it shifts from gold to purple. Uh, it's just crazy to brown like wow this is amazing and my husband is trying to get a hold of me he is in the Galapagos right now lastly we have the Wayne Goss face set I got that um, I got this off Beautylish um, it was available it might still be available I, it was several weeks ago so I don't know still um, but they he redid his face set so he put out a bunch of new brushes um, they look like this and so he basically re remastered his face brush set collection and redid them um, and there's a really like cool hand brush in here comes in this hat, although I probably won't keep it in this it's like very like I won't, it's like 80s bangs um, <laughs> uh, it's like thick in the middle and then wispy so it's like a fan brush that's actually like relatively hardy and has substance so it looks like it'll actually get highlighter on there really well so I'm pretty pumped to start using these um, yeah anytime you can get your hands on Wayne Goss brushes do so um, they are exclusively I think sold through Beautylish if you ever want to get your hands on them Beautylish.com Anyway, um, that is what I've re gotten recently. Uh, I will keep you guys up to date with any new purchases. Um, I have two more things that I'm probably going to haul for you guys. I got like all the blushes you can get out of the new MAC in in extra dimension. <laughs> the new MAC in extra dimension blushes. I got all nine of those. Um, so I will and swatch them for you and then I got a ton of pigments from this Russian Etsy lady that are so awesome like so awesome <laughs> so I will maybe do a swatch video for you on those if I can okay that's it for right now though I will see you guys later I hope you're having a great day if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys next time bye guys